they say in a man's world women should be supporting women and standing by each other nothing says big bad man's world more than politics that too indian politics but here we have women pulling down another woman actress turned politician kangana ranaut will be contesting the upcoming lok sabha elections from monday in himachal pradesh on the bjp ticket soon congress ecosystem came together to attack ranaut with choicest abuses the above tweets are by supriya shunit national spokesperson of congress and runal pandey group editorial advisor to congress mouthpiece national herald mandi in hindi is a marketplace during pre independence era when india was ruled by british and before then the mughals women were sold in sex trade at such marketplaces called mandis So essentially, the two women above insinuated that Renault's Lok Sabha ticket came at a price. They later deleted the tweet after severe public backlash, but have remained more or less unapologetic about attacking Kangana. Unfortunately, it is not surprising either. You see, for them, women who are associated with the BJP do not deserve any dignity. We have seen how Amethi MP Smriti Irani has been subjected to the vilest of abuses because she dared to take on Rahul Gandhi, the Congress prince, who thinks the seat of the Prime Minister is his entitlement for being born into the Nehru Gandhi family. That Smriti too has been an actor before becoming a full-time politician, led to more sexist and vulgar abuses being hurled at her, and now it is Kangana's turn. And this is not the first time Kangana is subjected to such filthy language. Back in September 2020, when Uddhav Thackeray led Shiv Sena was in power in Maharashtra with Congress and NCP in alliance, Sanjay Raut had launched a misogynist attack on Kangana. He even called her Haram Khor. And when he was called out for using such a language for a woman, he claimed that the word Haram Khor is not an abuse, but it means naughty. हम जब बात करते हैं तो हम तू Haram Khor है, याने तू बहुत naughty है. One Congress leader, Irfan Ansari, made sexist jibe on Kangana and said that he would make roads smoother than her cheeks. Unshockingly, politicians' creepy obsession with cheeks of actresses and comparing them with roads is not new. In November 2021, newly appointed Rajasthan Minister and Congress MLA Rajendra Singh Gudda had courted controversy after his remarks comparing the state's roads to actor Katrina Kaif's cheeks went viral. Maharashtra Minister and senior Shiv Sena leader Gulab Rao Patil also had to apologize after the State Women's Commission strongly objected to his remarks, likening the roads in his constituency to Hema Malini's cheeks. In 2019, Congress leader P. C. Sharma compared the roads of Madhya Pradesh with the cheeks of BJP leader Kailash Vijay Wargia and said the Congress government would make them like the cheeks of Hema Malini. However, the first such reference to Hema Malini's cheeks was done in 2004 by RJD leader Lalu Prasad Yadav. As one can see, men have subjected women in and out of politics to wild, sexist jibes. So much that it no longer truly comes as much of a surprise. The misogyny is so normalized that it has been accepted as a way of political life. But wouldn't the women know better, considering they themselves are repeatedly subjected to such comments? Shouldn't women be standing up for other women, irrespective of ideological and political differences? Must one dehumanize someone over such differences? Where does the politics end and blind hate begin? These women shouldn't respect.